Boxes, money orders, traveler's checks, loans for any major purchase or expense, and many other financial services are available, along with home loans and savings accounts. Hi everybody, this is Jim Marzano with Al Del Torrio at the Cheney High School Gymnasium, the 1200 seat Cheney High School Gymnasium, standing room only crowd tonight for a city series battle between the Cheney Cowboys and the Woodrow Wilson Redmond, two of the four clubs tied for second place in the city. North is 2-0, oh, the leader in the city. South, Wilson, Wayne, and Cheney all have one and one records. East is in the cellar with a record of 0-2. Oh Cheney is 4-4 four four overall. Wilson 6-3 overall. Now, what about the most recent contest for these two teams? Well, Jim, for the Cheney Cowboys, they have just came off a win against the Girard High Indians, an impressive win. Girard took an early lead, 8 to nothing, but Cheney came back quickly as Herb Lake scored 20 points. He also pulled down 18 rebounds. Lake and Arrington combined for 11 of uh, Cheney's 19 points in the second quarter. He also hit 9 of 16 from the field. So they had a good game against the Cheney, excuse me, against the Girard High Indians. Big game there. As for Wilson, they're coming off an upset, I guess you would call it, over Camel Memorial. They defeated Camel in overtime, 64-62. Ed Demetsko hit a goal with four seconds left in that overtime to give Wilson that win at Wilson. Wilson tied the game at 58 in regulation time by a free throw with Dave Sandy with 44 seconds remaining. Demetsko wound up the, that game with 22 points. Sandy had 17. So Wilson's been playing pretty good basketball. Defeating uh, Chaney, excuse me, defeating Camel. And before that, they had a win against East in a game that was broadcast over WBBW. What about a year ago? Well, last year, Wilson took this series. They defeated Chaney in the first game, 91 to 83. In that game, Dave Crawford had 31 points. Steve Walsh had a 21, and Ed Demesco hit 19. In the second meeting, here at Cheney, Woodrow Wilson again came out on top, 70 to 67. Wilson hit 24 of 37 free throws for 64%. That was probably the most key factor. Dave Sandy had 21 points, and Dave Crawford had 14. Herb Lake and Hum Ford had 26 apiece for Cheney. So we should have a very good game tonight. Both teams 1-1 one one in City Series play. And an interesting note, Jim, before you go on to the starting lineups and have Ed Demesco will not start tonight. He'll come in off the bench, talking to Coach Dick Franco before the game. Said he wants to use Demesco as a key player to come off the bench and maybe turn the momentum if it gets down. This game between the Woodrow Wilson Redmond and the Cheney Cowboys, one of 25 area scholastic basketball games on the slate for tonight. There are two other games in the city series, both uh, being played at the South Fieldhouse as part of a doubleheader tonight. North going against South in the first game, East against Ryan in the nightcap. In the Steel Valley Conference, Boardman playing at Cardinal Loney, Howland at Ursuline, Warren Reserve at Hubbard, Austin Town Fitch at Campbell Memorial. The Mahoning Valley Conference has Poland at West Bench, Warren Kennedy at Salem, Gerard at Struthers, South Range at Springfield Vogel, Columbiana at Lowellville, Jackson and uh, to the Inner County League, South Range at uh, Springfield Vogel, Columbiana at Lowellville, Jackson Milton at McDonald, Western Reserve at Mineral Ridge. In other games around the area tonight, Liberty at Matthews, Lakeview at Champion, Newton Falls at Badger, United Local at Letonia, Stanton Local at Sebring, Springfield Jefferson at Southern Local, Chris View at Lisbon, Alliance at Warren Harding, Barberton at East Liverpool, Lordstown at Bloomfield, and Maplewood at Bristol. We'll return with the starting lineups and the opening tip-off of tonight's game in just a moment. Welcome back to the Cheney High School Gymnasium. This is Jim Marzano with Al Del Torrio. We're set to bring you tonight's game between the Cheney Cowboys and the Woodrow Wilson Redmond. Both varsity clubs continuing their pregame warm-up. Woodrow Wilson won the JV game, defeating Cheney 
to 58. Take a look at the jetting lineups for the varsity game now. Woodrow Wilson Redmond, 6 and 3 overall, 1 and 1 in the city series, coached by Dick Franco, will open with Steve Wash at center. Steve is number 33, he's a 6'3 senior. At the forward, number 31, Dave Sandy, 6'4, and a senior. The other forward will be number 45, Tom Hartwell Road, 6'2 senior. At the guards, number 11, John Murray. 5'11", senior. Number 13, Joe Cullen, a 5'11", senior. Wash at center, Sandy and Harkler Road at the forward. Murray and Cullen at the guard. Over Cheney Cowboys, 4-4 four four overall, 1-1 one one in the city. Coached by John Remia, the Cowboys open with Herb Lake at center, number 54, 6'5", and a senior. At the forwards, number 32, Chuck Wyant, a 6'4", senior. He'll be teamed up at the other forward with 52, George Arrington, 6'2", and a junior. At the guards, number 28, Mark Calcagney, a 6'0", junior. And we're told that uh, either Ron Angelo or Tony Carney will be at the other guard. Angelo wears number 24, he's a 5'11", senior. Carney wears number 10. He's a 5'9 junior. Tony Carney got hurt in the Camel game, and when I talked to Coach Franco earlier in the week on the phone, he said he wasn't sure if Tony Carney would be able to go tonight. It would depend on the rest of the week in practice and how he felt tonight. All right, we'll check on the actual starting five when it uh, appears out here on the court at the uh, Cheney High School Gymnasium. Cheney Cowboys, 4-4 four four overall, 1-1 one one in the City Series. Woodrow Wilson, 6-3 overall, 1-1 one one in the City. The Cheney Cowboys coached by John Rebius, as I mentioned earlier. John is in his ninth year at the helm of the uh, Cowboys. Dick Ugrin is his assistant. Woodrow Wilson Redmond coached by Dick Franco. This is uh, Dick's uh, seventh year as head coach of the Redman, he's assisted by Tony Delvang. The pregame warm-ups have been concluded. Both teams now at their benches. The officials that will work tonight's ball game, John Haruska and Dick Creed. We're expecting the formal introduction of the starting lineups to the fans here at the Cheney High School Gymnasium. The Wilson Redmond opened the season losing two in a row. Those games to Niles and Salem then put together a four-game winning streak beating Gerard Struthers, Coleman, East Palestine before losing to Norris. But since that game, they've reeled off two in a row as they head into tonight's game, those last two uh, ball games, and victories coming against East and Campbell Memorial. The Cheney Cowboys opened up the season, losing to Cardinal Moniz. That game was followed by a win over Ursuline. Then two losses in a row, one to Fitch and uh, one in the uh, Talmadge tournament. They won the second game that they participated in at the Talmadge tournament. Then defeated Ryan, lost to Norris, beat Gerard. So Cheney has been an on and off uh, type of team throughout the early going of the 79-80 season. Starting lineup is now being introduced to the fans here at the uh, Cheney High School Gymnasium. We'll match up the teams statistically for you. Wilson averaging 67 points to ball game offensively as compared to 50 for Cheney. Redmond at 66.8 on defense as compared to Cheney's 54.7. In shooting, Wilson has hit on 39.1% of his shots from the field. And that's exactly the same total for Cheney, 39.1 from the field. From the free throw line, the Wilson Redmond have hit on 56. Rather, the Woodrow Wilson Redmond has uh, hit on 58.1% uh, from the uh, free throw line. The Cheney Cowboys, 55.6 from the 
free throw line. And in rebounding average, Cheney at 43.5, Wilson at 36.9. Apparently, Tony Carney and Ron Angelo will start for Cheney. We'll give you more on that in a moment, but first, our national anthem. Cowboy backcourt, Mark Kelcagney will not start. We gave you Mark as uh, one of the probable starters at guard, but uh, was not introduced in the starting lineup. Announced just uh, moments ago. Wilson Whitman out on the floor in red with uh, white numerals, red and white trim. Cheney Cowboys in white with the uh, Scarlet numerals. Cowboys now line up. John Harushka working the ball game with Dick Creed. John has the ball. He'll put it up in play. Steve Washington out of the way. Go at it for the opening tip on the tip of control by the uh, Cheney Cowboys. Well, now Mark Calcagney is starting. It's Chuck Wyant that is not in there. So Cowboys going with the uh, Actually, a three-guard offense. I see uh, ball goes out of bounds on the right-hand side of the floor. It'll belong to the Wichel Wilson uh, Redmond. The Redmond took the ball away from the Cowboys, worked it into the uh, front court. Ball was knocked out. Here come the Redmond. Jumper from the baseline on the left-hand side by Dave Sandy. Sandy averaging uh, 20 points the ball game, the leading scorer for the Redmond on the year. Sandy gets the ball inside and loves that little turnaround five-foot jumper. Sandy's going to have to stop that before the night's over, or Sandy will kill him. First quarter just underway from the Cheney High School Gymnasium. Out front, Carney passes over to the right-hand side. Cal Cagney stops. Back out front to Carney. Zone defense being played by the Wilson Redman. Herb Lake, baseline, left-hand side. Put it up and in. Almost a 20-footer for Lake. Lake, a very good outside shooter, can from the corner, as you mentioned, Jim. All right, getting wide open underneath. Number 45, Ed Demetsko. For the Wilson Wetman, apparently he misses the shot. The Cowboys get it down the floor. Tony Carney puts up a jumper from the right-hand side. It is good. Well, we've got both on that one, too. Demetsko did start for the... Whether that was Hartley or not, the Mets go. I had a shot put up and in by the Redman, and we get a whistle on a foul. Wash gets the field goal, and he was fouled. Foul was on Herb Lake, his first, the team first, and Wilson's going to try and drive on Cheney, try to have Herb Lake commit a lot of fouls and have him sit out. Without Herb Lake, Cheney really loses the line. is Wash, and he put it up with it. Three points of the night for Wash. He's got all three. Jack 
Denny Cowboys with a basketball, 6-14 to play, first quarter, Cal Cagney. Shot is good from the right-hand side. 6-5 to five the score. Jump over left-hand side by the Redman in the person of uh, Dave Zandy. His shot does not go. Six to five the score. Jenny Cowboys by one. The Cowboys working in the zone area two hour left. On the right hand side is Carney. Gives the way. Play. Passes it inside. Shot from the right hand side by Arrington does not go. And the rebound is controlled by the Redman. We get a whistle and a foul. 523 to play. Foul is on number 35. Mike Conn is in the ball game. Mike Conn just getting into the ball game. Quickly picks up a foul. All right, Lake in the right corner. It was a non-shooting violation. Left hand side, Cal Cagney shot. Well, we're going to get a three-second lane violation against the uh, Cheney Cowboys. That's the second turnover on Cheney. They're trying to work the ball inside and get the good shot, as is Wilson. Both teams putting a lot of pressure on, trying to get the easy basket. I drive and lay up by 31. Dave Sandy is a 6'4 senior. And with that, we're going to get a timeout called by the Cheney Cowboys. 4.54 to play in the opening period. There's a timeout on the floor with the score. The Woodrow Wilson led them seven. The Cheney Cowboys six. Next Tuesday night, you'll hear the same Wilson Redmond in action on WBBW as they host the uh, South Pole Warriors. Broadcast coverage at 720 on WBBW. 454 to go, first quarter. Wilson seven, Cheney six. This is Jim Marzano with Al Del Torrio, our engineer, Mike Otto, at the uh, Cheney High School. Gymnasia. Cowboys with a basketball. They work it inside the leg. Up and in. Herb Lake gets his second field goal of the night. He has a total of four. Chaney regains the lead at eight to seven. Redmond get the ball into the front court quickly. Sandy. Left hand side. Flips it out to 11. John Murray. Shot up. No good. Lake with a rebound. Lake into the front court. Bounce pass over to the left hand side of Carney. Carney brings us outside. Gives to Cal Cagney. Angelo on the right wing. Cal Cagney in the corner on the right hand side. Out front to Carney. Long pass inside. Stolen by the Wilson Redman. They tried to get it to Lake. I know Wilson uh, defense doing a pretty good job of keeping the ball away from Lake. Dribble drive on the baseline on the right hand side by Wilson Steve Wash and uh, traveling is called. Wash turns the ball over to the Cheney Cowboys. All right, a quick note. Uh, we had a number change on Joe Cullen. He is wearing number 35, which is the regular number of Mike Hahn. 345 to play. First quarter jumper from the free throw line by Angelo. Shot no good. And the rebound by the Redmond. It's Wash, Sandy, Lake comes up with a steal. A whistle was sounded and a foul was called. It's on 24, Angelo of Cheney. They're still working the ball inside to Sandy. They want Sandy to take that easy shot. In that game against Sandy, he did a very good job. I mean, Campbell contained him a little bit in that game Tuesday night. At the free throw line, Dave Sandy. First shot is up and it is. Sandy on the year, a 59% free throw shooter. Wilson is a streak shooting foul team. When they get hot, they're very hard to stop. Second shot is good by Sandy. Sandy with a total of six. Nine to eight to score. Jumper from the baseline on the right hand side by the Cowboys. No good place with a rebound. Up and in. 
The offensive rebound and the field goal by Lake. Now here come the Wilson Redman. Sandy misses from underneath. Lake with the rebound. End of the front court. Bounce pass down to the baseline on the left-hand side. Cal Cagney shoots from 25. Shot no good. Scramble for the ball. A whistle is sounded. And we're going to get a foul call. Markel Cagney, his third, that's the team's third. And Cagney's burying themselves with fouls early going in this ballgame. All right, the Wilson Redmond with a basketball. Wash over the right-hand side. Sandy in the lane. Puts up a one-hander, doesn't go. Sandy bats the rebound to... 35, Joe Cullen, his shot is no good. Lake with the rebound for the Cowboys. They quickly work the ball into the front court. Cal Cagney down to the baseline. Arrington, jumper from the free throw line by Angelo, no good. The rebound is by Wash, who's averaging a 13.2 of all game. Left-hand side, 45, Hartley Road. Right-hand side. Wash, shot no good. Hartley Rowe with, with the rebound. Cullen from the wing on the left-hand side. His shot is up and in. Joe Cullen. His uh, first uh, field goal of the night. 11 to 10. The Redmond take the lead. Harrington, Blake, double teamed inside, boosts the ball. But the uh, Cowboys regain possession. Jumper from Cal Cagney at the uh, free throw line. It's off in front of the rim. And the uh, Redmond gets the ball. It's Murray. Murray. Coming up with a steal, Cal Cagney. Shot by Angelo to Sotko. A whistle and a foul called on Jonathan Murray of Woodrow Wilson. Wilson having problems against Cheney offensively. They're not being able to move the ball, and they're missing a lot of their shots. Not uh, the tendency of a Wilson Redmond team. Full shooting in this first quarter play. A minute 39 remaining. Wilson on top, 11 to 10. Hard to believe this is uh, the Cheney ball for the first uh, appearance at the uh, free throw line tonight. Uh, Connie, a 50% free throw shooter, hits the first one. Connie's second shot. Rolls around up there, finally drops in. Chuck Wyant is into the ball game, replacing George Arrington for Cheney. As 31, Dave Sandy tries to drive the baseline for the uh, Wilson Redman, was called for traveling. Right now, Sandy and Steve Watts talking. They are working underneath as a team, and they are doing a, a very good job of passing the ball. The next thing they have to do now is get it in the bucket. Late from 15 on the left-hand side, the shot doesn't go. Harkley Road with a rebound. He clears to Murray, who brings it across. Harkley Road on the left wing, had his shot blocked, regains possession of the basketball, had his second shot deflected. Cheney gets the ball, it's Angelo, into the front court, stop, shoot, no good. Rebound shot put up, rejected, loose ball. Goes out on the far side. And let's see who it's awarded to, I believe, uh, 33, Steve Walsh was the last to uh, touch the ball, so it should be uh, Cheney's basketball. It is. A minute two to play, first quarter. Cheney leading. Wilson, 12 to 11. Been back and forth in this ball game. Angelo passes over to the right-hand side of Cal Cagney. Let's see if the Cheney Cowboys play for one shot. No, they don't. As Herb Lake hits on a 10-foot uh, jumper from the baseline on the left-hand side. Lake with uh, eight points. And the Redmen respond on a jumper from the baseline on the right-hand side. 15-footer from Steve Walsh. 22 seconds to play first period. Cheney. So John Ramey has shot it out. He only wants one shot with 15 seconds remaining. Let's see what kind of a shot Cheney gets off. Cowboys have a 14 to 13 lead as we near the end of the first period. Seven seconds late. Double team passes to Angelo. Rather, Carney, who passes uh, to Wyan. Wyan took up a shot that does not go. And we've come to the end of the first period. With the score, the Cheney Cowboys, 14. 
And the Wilson Redmond, 13. Second-ranked Ohio State Buckeyes will risk their Big Ten Conference lead again tomorrow at Michigan. The Buckeyes, after their best start since the uh, 1962 team won its first 22 games, Buckeyes carry a 12-1 overall record and a 5 nothing league mark against the Wolverines. Catch all the action on WBBW beginning at uh, 3.15 tomorrow. Jim, the first quarter shooting statistics, Wilson 5-15 from the outside, 33%. Cheney, 6 of 16, 38%. Both teams shooting 100% from the line. Wilson, 3 of 3. Cheney, 2 of 2. Second period tip control by the Cheney Cowboys. Cowboys is working in the zone to our left. Cal Cagney on the wing to the right hand side. Long jumper. With beautiful shot by Cal Cagney. All net. That was the air mail. The, uh, far side box. Air mail shot and a very good outside shot. All right, Wilson Redmond with a basketball. Cheney leading at 16 to 13. Jumper right hand side. Steve Wash. Wash is his third field goal of the night. Cowboys with a basketball leading at 5 1, 16 to 15. Cal Cagney, top of the circle. Passes over to the right-hand side to Carney. Carney had the ball batted out of his hand, but he regained possession of the ball. Now Cal Cagney over to the right-hand side. Carney top of the circle, pass to Wyant. Wyant right of the lane, give his way to Cal Cagney. Carney, top of the circle, over to the left-hand side, Angelo. Cheney being very patient, they want the good shot, and they have the lead, so they can wait and play for the good shot. Wyant outside. Kearney, pass into the right-hand corner. Kearney to Cal Cagney, 6-13 to play in the first half of action. I want to remind you that this is WBBW, Youngstown, Ohio. Wyant takes the pass inside and uh, goes for the shot, but the shot is deflected, and in the process, he gets fouled. Murray on the foul, trying to go up and contest Wyant. Got a piece of Wyant's arm, and Chuck Wyant will be at the free throw line. He'll have two shots. Wyant shooting 69% from the free throw line. I see first shot by Wyant is good. The foul on Murray is second, the team's third. Wyant is both of them. His first two points of the night. And Cheney has extended his lead to 18 to 15. Three point lead for the Cowboys. Down to the baseline on the right-hand side, 33, Wash, and he is fouled by Herb Lake. That is Lake's second foul, one more, and I think he'll be down for the rest of the half. And that's what the Wilson Redmonds will work for. All right, a jumper from the baseline. right-hand side. Dave Candy came in, stuck underneath. Shady was in a man, defense out of bounds. Candy stuck in and got the easy layup. 18 to 17, Cheney by one. Cal Cagney lost it for Lake underneath. Whistle on a foul on 33 Wash. Very physical underneath the boards, Jim. Both teams trying to fight for position in that time. There was a law pass to Lake. Lake just wanted to get it inside and make his move. Didn't have a chance. He was fouled by Wash. Redmond looked to be determined to uh, keep that ball away from Lake as much as possible. He's uh, been double teamed for much of the first half. Cowboys with the ball. Cal Cagney, long shot from the left hand side. Cal Cagney gets the hot hand so far in the second quarter for Cheney. All right, jumper from the right hand side by Walsh of uh, Wilson. Walsh not looking too bad on his shooting. He used the backboard that time very well. 20 to 19 to score. Walsh incidentally has nine points. Thus far, Cal Cagney passes right to Carney, back out to Cal Cagney. Cheney's still being very patient on offense. Usually they go at it, go at the boards, and they're being very patient, running their offense very well. All right, the ball knocked out of the hand of Cal Cagney. The loose ball picked up by Carney. 
strike on the right-hand side underneath. Angelo has his shot rejected. And the rebound controlled by Cohen. 4.36 to play. Second quarter. Wide open was Dave Sandy. I didn't see who got the lead pass to him, but uh, Sandy was wide open. Wilson has made their last five shots in a row. And Coach John Remy has to do something about that defensively. 21-20, the Redmen have regained the lead. It's been back and forth through much of the first half. We get a whistle of stoppage in play. That's number 10, uh, Connie. Wanted to go towards the hoop. We're going to get a change in the uh, Cheney lineup as well. Foul is on Harple Road. That's his first team foul. That should put Cheney in a one-on-one for the rest of the half. Cheney should be able to capitalize on this they do, they have a good shot at winning this ball game, even though it's still early. Harrington replaces Lake. At the free throw line, shooting one and one is Carney. Cheney, five of five from the free throw line so far tonight. Carney got the first one, and he got the second one. 22-21, the Cowboys have regained the lead in the ball game. 45, Harkler Road, reverse layup, and a foul call underneath. Foul on Chuck Lyon, his second personal foul, and Wilson is superior high. They have hit their last six shots in a row, and they're working the ball in, taking the easy shot, the easy shot you can get is a layup, and that's what they've had their last three or four shots down. 22-21 to score. Park the road can tie it, he does. Three points for Hark the road. We've got a brand new ball game tied at 22. 3.57 to play. A lot of pressure now defensively by the Wilson Redmond. Cowboys finally get the ball under the front court. Wyatt goes to the hook. Suddenly at the last minute passed off. If the pass was intended for Carney, he wasn't expecting it. The ball goes out of bounds and it'll go to Wilson. Right back in the ball game for the Cowboys. Sitting down will be Wyatt. It'll be George Erickson, Herbalik, Mark Kelcagney, Ron Angelo, and Tony Carney for the Cheney Cowboys. The Wilson Redmond have got pretty much with their starting five. Jumper by Kellen from the left hand side. No good rebound. Watch up and in. Steve Watts with 11 points so far tonight. He's doing a job on the board. He has five bounds already in this first half. 26, 22. The score. Jumper by a lake right hand side. No. Whistle and a foul. No foul. Ball went out. Controlled by Wilson. the Redmond turn it over on a long pass into the front court that uh, went out at the baseline. In the front court, Carney passes to uh, Arrington. Ball moves out of bounds on the far sideline. Let's see who they give the ball to. Doug Cheney is here. This game has been pretty much air-free. Only nine turnovers in this first half for both teams combined. Carney to Angelo down to the baseline on the right-hand side. Blake tries to beat it off, and he stepped out. Stepped out of bounds. They boxed him now, time, so the only way he could go around is take the baseline. He did take the baseline, but he also stepped out of bounds. John Murray gets the ball inbounded. Quickly down the score is 31, Dave Sandy. Sandy hits the field goal. He has a total of 12 points on the night. 28-22 the score. Wilson out in front by six. Angelo from the right-hand side. Angelo with his first two points of the night. That draws the Cowboys to it in four. Coming up with a beautiful steal, Cal Gagney goes one-on-one -on -one to the hoop with Murray. Going to get a whistle, a foul, a charging foul on uh, Cal Gagney. Good call. Murray uh, had the position on the play. Murray dropped back that time, got his body in position, took the charge. Excellent play. Second foul on Cal Gagney. 
Redman into the front court. Pass in the lane. Sandy goes to the hoop. Looks very, very dominating on that score. He's got 14. Sandy's been wide open in the middle. And he's got the ball. He wants it. Drives the lane. Has the easy layup. It's easy as you want to get. A lapse on the Cheney defense. Angelo bounce pass over to the right hand side. Rather turny. The bounce pass to Angelo. Couldn't get to it. The ball goes out and the ball goes over to Wilson. And it's 45 to play. First half. Murray on the left wing and is tied up. We get a jump ball called for with a 141 to play in the second quarter. It'll be between Angelo and Murray. Dave Sandy, Steve Watt, John Murray. Joe Cullen and Tom Hartwell wrote for Cheney. The tip is controlled by Arrington. Here's the ball batted out of his hands, and uh, Sandy picked it up, put it over there. Dave, Sandy, excellent move. Six o'clock, and he got the easy layup. Sandy with 16 points so far in this first half. I believe it was Wash who uh, made the good defensive play. That got the ball loose. Jumper from the right-hand side. Cal Cagney shot no good. Rebound tipped by Lake, no good. Wash controls to Murray, whistle and foul at midcourt. Foul number 10, Kearney. It'll be his first personal. And a timeout is called by the Cheney Cowboys. A minute 10 to play in the second quarter. There's a timeout on the floor with the score. The Wilson Redmond 32. The Cheney Cowboys, 24. Eight points lead now for the Wilson Redmond over the Cheney Cowboys. They've been touched through the first quarter and uh, much of the uh, second quarter, Al, but uh, Wilson Redmond now beginning uh, to take uh, control. Coldness has hit Cheney. They've been, their shot selection has been very poor, taking 15 and 20 footers. They have to work the ball in like they were. Interesting note, Kerb Lake has nine rebounds. But, as a team, the Cheney Cowboys have 10. So that says you what kind of a player Kurt Blake needs for this Cheney Cowboys team. One of the officials, Dick Creed, hands the ball to uh, John Murray, who's shoot at the line shooting one and one. First shot, no good. Rebound by Arrington. Whistle and foul on 33, Steve Walsh. He was all over Arrington's back. As Arrington went up for the rebound. That's his second personal foul. And Cheney will come down and they will shoot a one and one. All right, a little delay because of uh, some sort of debris on the floor. Oh, uh, some loose pom-pom or something some like that. Some loose pom-pom from the cheerleaders. All right, Arrington goes to the free throw line. Arrington, a 54% free throw shooter. Cheney is a team, 56.5. Shooting one and one, first shot, no good. Lake with a rebound, got it inside to Arrington. Shot, no good, rebound, Wilson. Sandy, a rather wash with a rebound. To Cullen, passed down to the baseline to Sandy. Knocked out of bounds. As such, apparently, by Sandy, because Cheney will get the basketball. 57 seconds to play in the first half. I'm Jim Marzano with Al Del Torrio, the uh, Cheney High School Gymnasium. WBBW Scholastic Basketball. Play, back to the way. Loosens the ball, regains it. Out front to Kearney. Kearney staff passes right. Jumper Angelo, no good. Tipped up, no good. Another tip, good. I believe we'll give that one to Herb Lake, right Al? Right, Herb Lake working the boards underneath. He has a total of 12 rebounds already and 10 points. All right, pass down to the baseline. Wide open was D. Wash for the pass. A little too hard, a little bit too high for Wash to handle. And it'll be a turnover. Momentum starting to change going into these last 20 seconds. Cheney gets the ball and scores. They're back in this ball game. Four points down going into halftime. Jumper from the wing on the left-hand side. 24, Ron Angelo. His second field goal, he has a turn of four. Hartley rolls up corner for Wilson. Two seconds to play. Jumper by Hartley Road overshoots everything. And the buzzer has sounded, ending the first half of action. At the end of the first half, 
the Wilson Redman plays the Cheney Cowboys 32 to 28. Welcome back to the Cheney High School Gymnasium. This is Jim Marzano with Al Galsario and our engineer, Mike Orso. WBBW Scholastic Basketball. Tonight a City Series matchup. Quite a rivalry between these two city teams, the Cheney Cowboys and the Wilson Redmond. We've got ourselves a very, very fine ball game. 32-28 is the halftime score. Wilson Redmond leading it to by four. Nipping a uh, tough ball game throughout the first uh, quarter. And uh, very, very close throughout uh, much of the second until the Cheney Cowboys, as I mentioned uh, earlier, got a little cold in their uh, shooting. Wilson uh, took advantage and uh, led by as many as eight at one point. It's uh, back to a four-point ball game, 32 to 28. Now it'll be interesting to see if the uh, Cheney Cowboys can come out at the beginning of the third quarter and uh, play like they did for the final uh, couple of minutes in the second quarter. Well, Cheney, just as you mentioned before, they got cold in that second quarter. At the end of the first quarter, they shot 6 of 15, and they hit their first four shots. They were 4 of 5, and then they went cold. Then all of a sudden, they got on again between uh, taking their 15th and 25th shot. They hit 5 out of 10, and then they got cold again. So tough luck to the Cheney Cowboys right now. The Wilson Redmond, on the other hand, hit in a stretch. in a row, and they hit, at one time, 11 out of their last 12. So, the total before the half was 11 out of their last 13 shots, so that shows you why they are ahead in this ball game. The halftime statistics that we have on official, of course, Wilson shooting 53% from the field, 14 of 26, whereas Cheney, 11 of 29 for 37%. Free throws, both teams shooting very well from the free throw line. Wilson, 4 of 5 for 80%. Cheney, 6 of 7, 85%. Rebounds, Wilson has the edge 14 to 11. Personal fouls, Cheney leading that 8 to 6. Turnovers, Wilson has 9 to Cheney, 7. Score at the end of the first period of play. Cheney 14 to 13, Wilson 32-28 halftime score. Individual statistics, Dave Sandy leading score for both sides, 16 points as a total of two rebounds. Ed Domenico surprisingly hasn't played, Jim. Uh, we have not seen him. He was not hurt, according to Coach Dick Franco, maybe depressing. Yet on the season, Domenico averaging 13 points and 8.2 rebounds a game. Surprising not to see him in the lineup, but they're doing very well in his absence. Steve Walsh is next in line. He has 11 points, 8 rebounds. John Murray has a rebound, has not scored. Joe Cullen has 2 points, 2 rebounds. Tom Harkel Road has 3 points, 2 rebounds. For the Cheney Cowboys, they are led by, of course, Herb Lake. Lake has a total of 10 points and 12 rebounds. He is followed by Marshall Cagney and Anthony Carney with six points apiece. Ron Angelo has four, Chuck Wyatt two. So the halftime score once again, 32 to 28. Wilson on top and Wilson nine and back onto the floor. Al, in our pregame notes, we mentioned that uh, this is one of 25 games being played around the area tonight. Now here at halftime, I want to mention that uh, there will be eight games tomorrow involving area high school basketball teams. The Saturday schedule is Cardinal Money at Juan Kennedy, Salem at Niles, Springfield also at Columbiana, Lowellville at South Range, Pima Tuning Valley at Southington, Beaver Loco playing at Mingo Junction, East Palestine at Canton Brunerdale, and Marlington at Alliance. 32 28, the halftime score to Winter Wilson Redmond leading the Cheney Cowboys in a very, very fine ball game at the Cheney High School Gymnasium. Should have a good second half for you. Coming up, the next WBBW Scholastic Basketball broadcast will be Tuesday night from the Wilson High School Gymnasium.